capacity is for fighting. Okay, five hello everybody. This is money. blood in my it's urine, bringing you another trench gold week. metal guide. And this, this is the supply. fourth level. The name is Refinery, I believe. And um, this is actually one of my favorite levels. Um, it's pretty easy, but uh, here I actually had some fun with it and uh, I created a sniper wall. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool, but anyways, if you want to beat this level, just put a mine and placement right there, and then on the other side over here. And uh, if uh, you have the weaker stuff, if you're playing it on your first playthrough, I would put two more on the back of the road just in case they get through that. And then you want um, two, three, maybe even four shotgun emplacements. Uh, there's two ramps that goes up to the flanks. And uh, there's some pretty good waves that comes out of there. But I just put two on each side and uh, it does the job just fine. And then uh, after I do all that, I start building my uh, my sniper really wall, and I think I have like seven or eight uh, snipers up there. And uh, I don't know, I just thought it was cool. So here is introducing you to a new character, or enemy rather. Uh, it's the burst transmitter, I believe it's called. And those things, I despise those, because. You know, I the burst transmitter as a emplacement guy, you know, you spend, uh, you know, like 80 scrap, which, you know, is, is a fair amount on, you know, a mortar or a sniper rifle, and then those things just destroy it, and it's, it sucks, but, you know, if you just uh, plan ahead and, uh, you know, on every level, it's kind of my personal mission to destroy those first. You know, I'll. That's why another reason I use the sprint legs is because I'll sprint to them, you know, destroy them, and then I don't have to worry about them destroying my stuff. So, if you know, in the later episodes when you see the word burst, you know, just start running towards it. That's what I usually do. So, uh, as you see, I put uh, two shotgun turrets up on the uh, left flank, and I believe they come out of the right one first. But it's not till like wave seven, and by that time I had two on the other side. I so I'm just saving up my uh, my scrap so I could just put two up there. And um, there I was trying to shoot one of my mines. I didn't know if you were able to explode one or not. But it looks like doesn't look like it. So um, yeah, as I was saying, this level is pretty easy. Um, I do wish that uh, you could kind of sell your own emplacements for scrap, you know, because after I got my all my snipers on the wall, I kind of wanted to get rid of them. Man, I got lucky there. I was looking at both of them. It, when, whenever the gas, those gas things come up, I call them gas snakes. When they come up, um, just look kind of at an angle in the air, and you'll see kind of a light above them. And use that usually unless I believe the boss fight is an exception but other than that there's usually two so um, I mean they're not hard to find if you just look for the light and uh, they don't take a while to kill if uh, if uh, you know there's just two of them so anyways there's a burst transmitter that got through so I'm just gonna shotgun him I'm using the shotguns um, because I'm trying to complete the challenge, so many shotgun kills. Uh, so, you know, if uh, you guys are having difficulty at all, I would use two machine guns. And uh, if, you know, you're relying heavily on your Here emplacements like I early. usually do. These guys are tough. Uh, like I said, I'm an emplacement guy. Uh, I usually use, I believe it's called Shred or Shredder or something like that. So they drop more scrap. And uh, that actually, I don't know how much it helps, but it feels like it helps a lot. It, it seemed like when I was using it, I, I built a lot more. But um, as you can see, um, the big Willy shouldn't be no problem. I haven't upgraded those uh, mines. If you have the, the first mines, like I said, if it's your first playthrough, I would try uh, to upgrade your mines. Because uh, they are extremely, extremely powerful when you upgrade. And as you can see here, I'm starting to uh, build my sniper wall here. And um, 
you know, I have a little trust in my placements over there because except going after those Tommies, I'm just going to try to start my sniper wall. Go three snipers, and um, there we go. And wait for it. Wait for that. Ah, there it is. And it was, as you can see, by the time I'm done placing them, they're already destroyed. I don't think they hit my base. I think I got 100% on this playthrough. And I uh, collect the scrap and got some more money for another sniper and continue on building. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not. I have a bad memory if you guys... If you guys start watching my videos, just remember I have a bad memory, but uh, I really don't... I, I like it, but I don't understand why they give you bonus scrap on this level, because I would much rather use it on, like, the level Volcano or something like that, you know? Like this, uh... I mean, I'm not complaining because it gives me enough scrap to, you know, build a cool little sniper wall, but, you know, it's not really necessary for this level. You know, I, I would kind of hope, uh, you know, do it on more levels. If they come out with more levels, or maybe if they come out with a survival mode every five or ten Fresh levels, meat. you get bonus scrap. Uh, that would be really cool. And uh, another thing that I would think would be very easy to make, I'm not a programmer or anything yet, but um, one thing I think would be really cool is if you hit the back button. It would show you like the top view of the map and it will show you all your placements. And maybe because you you know when you see select a mission it shows you the arrows, you know, where they're gonna be coming. Even if it shows you those arrows also. You know, I think that would be cool. I, I think that would help you plan out a lot better. Because a lot of times, um, you know, I'll put in a placement because I think they're going through there and it actually they they go left side to right basically, you know, there's there's a level uh, that kind of does that, kind of tricks me, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so two more snipers yeah, down. As you can see, I'm starting to get a pretty good line. I think I put one or I think just one more sniper, and, um, and then the wall is complete. And as you saw right there, you just see red lines going past. Like I'm charging into the enemies, and they're all dead by the time I get to them. So. Uh, but yeah, um, and that's one of the things right. that kind of bothers me. It's not a big problem or anything, but if you sprint down a hill, like you kind of fall a little bit, and it loses the sprint. So if you guys uh, just remember, I usually don't, but um, just walk down the hill and then sprint is a lot faster. Um, th and this is also... Um, one of the first missions that uh, you have more than one thing to protect which I thought was going to be really hard um, when I saw that because I'm not really that much used to tower defense games but I actually I'm, I'm not scared of it anymore you know especially even when some of the levels you have three things to protect you know it's uh, you know they're easy ways to each of them this one is nice because you know they're, they're still strong waves but they're bunched That's up the because up. the two places are close together so I I really enjoy this weather and here's more bonus scrap so I'm gonna get tons of scrap maybe uh, upgrade drop. a sniper rifle or two I don't think I do that though I think I go put another one and there's this uh, smoke snakes again see the light that's going above them that's how I've been getting lucky this game because they've been popping out like on my feet but um you know like I said just uh, look for the the tops and uh, it should be easy to find or uh, if it just starts and you see them pop up just hit the sprint button towards them and that will at least lead you to the right direction because sometimes if you uh, if you look around you can lose them real fast but you know, it shouldn't be too hard for you guys. And there's another sniper. And I believe that's, uh, what is that, eight or nine? Holy smokes. I have money for another one, but I don't think I have room for the wall yet. Okay. And as you can see, the waves are just, just going through the waves like nothing now. 
really digging that sniper. Look at that. See all those green lights? And, uh... And, yeah, there it goes. Um, I've been, like, my past videos, I've been thinking of other things that they could add to the game. And I don't want to seem like I uh, complain a lot about the game, because I, I actually really enjoy the game, and if they leave it alone, you know, I still think okay. it's worth the money. You know, I mean, for 15 missions, you know, but it does have online, and you could play it through multiple ways, you know. Um... I'm happy with it, but uh, I was thinking, you know, I played, uh, tried a tower defense game the other day, and uh, you could uh, upgrade different stats, like either the power or range, and I, you know, that's not a bad idea. I, if they did that, okay, if they're not, you know, I, that's one of the things that I, I don't really, really want. The other things like survival mode, man, I would kill someone for that. I mean, just kill someone. But anyways. Oh, that's a lot of green lights there. Okay, and going through there real fast. Boom, boom. And I believe that is it. So uh, I didn't even know that was a final win. Alright, well you guys have a great, great day. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye guys.